My name is Alan Freed, and uh, we're in uh, Alexandria, Virginia. It's June 8th, uh, 2014, and uh, I've been requested by the National Railroad Historical Society for their uh, oral history project. They've asked me to interview, interview my father, who had a long and uh, varied career uh, on the railroad. So we're here together, and uh, it's Sunday afternoon, and so I'm just going to get started and go uh, talk to my dad a little bit in an informal way about his life and his uh, history on the railroad. You know, you read about World War II and what the railroads, how much the railroads accomplished in moving troops and people, uh, you know, people during the war. And Union Station is a hub of seven railroads and the nation's capital. You can, it's, it's, it's hard to imagine the numbers of people that must have gone through the station uh, during the war. What was, it, uh, what was it like at the station? Well, you had your busiest seasons, of course, with Thanksgiving and Christmas. They were your busiest seasons. And there was once or twice when it was so busy and so many people traveling that they had to close the doors of the station till they could get the people onto the trains and moved. Uh, that was uh, only occasionally. But there were... It, it's, it, the, the movement of the troops at that particular time and people on furlough uh, going back and forth, it presented a real problem for uh, the people at the station moving them back and forth. Yeah, plus they had the mail, plus they had the Railway Express office you know, on the other side of the station. Right. I mean, it was, it right. was quite an operation. Well, that's true. What about the, uh, what did they have for the like, traveler's aid and for the soldiers? What did, what, like a USO or a service organization? Did well, they that have? was, uh, they had in the, at the station, they had uh, traveler's aid, which is in one corner, and the USO. And I, I will say that they operated pretty close together where they helped the soldiers uh, and their families. And traveler's aid was not only for military, it was for everybody. And they would help you, and a lot of times, uh, if you didn't have money for phone calls, they would make it available to you. They were, they were very helpful. Thanks a lot, Pop.